Hello and welcome to Martin Maths. I'm doing a quick demonstration of adding fractions for my uh, sevens. I'm going to look at two examples, one where the denominator is the same and one where it's different. Now, if the denominator is the same, we don't have to do much. We just have to add the numerator. Because remember, we've got two fifths here. The denominator, the fifths is what we're adding. So we don't do anything with them. I've got two of them and four of them. So I've got two of something plus four of something, and have six of that something. In this case, it's six fifths. And I know that in five fifths, I'll have a whole one plus that one extra. Okay, so I've just added the numerators and then turned that top heavy into a mixed number. Please do look at the other video on uh, mixed and top heavy fractions. Then let's look at another example where I've got different denominators. Now in this case we have to find what's called equivalent fractions. So we want to have the same denominator. I'm going to make them both have the denominator of 14. So I don't change that second term. But what have I done to that 7 to make it 14? Well I've times it by 2. So I must times that numerator by 2. 3 times 2 is 6. So I've got 6 fourteenths plus 2 fourteenths. And I'll then get 8 fourteenths which I can then even simplify back down to 4 sevenths. I could have done that another method by noticing that, that they're both even. So I could have 3 sevenths plus 1 seventh and got 4 sevenths. So either way, I've got the same answer. There we go. Quick demonstration of adding fractions to my year 7 students. Hope that helps you. Uh, in our lesson, please do chat on the Google Hangout and try the Maya Maths homework or uh, do the tasks in the textbook exercises. Thanks for watching.